You're such an asshole. Assholeconsulting.com. <clears throat> this will seem a very ironic question uh, because the answer is going to be ironic. Hey, Aaron, I would like to know your basic opinion of healthcare slash insurance in America today. What do you like about it? What do you not like about it? <clears throat> and I said, well, I could give you the long, long, long version. That would be thousands of dollars. I could just give you my very quick <clears throat> take on it. He says, I'll, I'll do the quick take. I say, okay, that'd be 30 bucks. So here's the deal. I hate the health, U.S. healthcare industry. I hate the insurance industry, which is part of it. Uh, and the predominantly reason that I hate it the most is this. And uh, if you had time to look at that chart, you'll notice that the United States spends more money uh, as a percentage of GDP on healthcare than our uh, much uh, mocked and ridiculed socialist uh, European countries. Uh, the only problem is I'm like, well, wait a minute. Uh, before we get all, ha ha, oh, we don't want nationalized health care. Exactly tell me how this health care system is better. Now, I know it's better and better services. The Canadians come down here and all that other stuff. Uh, but what I, we have, we have a, basically a, a, we provide both. We have a national health care system. We even had it before Obamacare. It was through Medicaid, Medicare, all these different government pro and free, you know, the hospitals wouldn't turn anyone away. So there was this uh, de facto national health care. And then we have a private market, private, which is also heavily regulated by the United States government, which inflates its costs. So my very, very simple uh, answer is I'd almost prefer to have a single payer health care system. I mean, ideally, we wouldn't have any government health care. And then people, it's not that, that oh, people say, well, then the, then the parasites would die out and, and, and they'd starve to that. That's not my point. My point is that uh, the, uh, the parasites would stop breeding because it's all, all of a sudden things weren't free no more. They, oh, they'd have to adhere to a budget and then when faced with starvation. Uh, but if the European countries can provide a, a relatively functioning health care system, uh, at basically, if you remember, we're at 17% GDP. They're at around 10 -Z. And we all started at five, so healthcare costs are going up for everybody. Uh, I, we, could, we could do it cheaper than that. I say we could even do it cheaper than that if it's just private and the government gets the fuck out of people's ways. Only problem is that insurance companies are also scumbags. You know, everyone thinks like, oh, the private sector is just full of innocent people. Uh -uh. I mean, look at the banking industry. Look at healthcare insurance. Uh, insurance companies are always Trying to, I got a buddy who he he's entitled to around three hundred thousand dollars worth of a payout, and these insurance companies know they could just outlast you, but they're scum. They're scum all around, and the the higher percentage of scum in in your society, the higher things are going to cost. You know, just look at Zimbabwe, Venezuela, any communist shithole. Uh, but in right now, as it's speak, I'd rather just get rid of the system we have now. Uh, throw morality and economic arguments aside. And just say, it's just going to be simpler to say, now free health care for everyone. No, nope, just, just go. Just go. Because, I mean, my guy, I mean, you can, I got private health insurance, right? So I go down to the fucking place. And the, I spent more time filling out paperwork. This is just for a checkup. I spent more time filling out paperwork and forms and this and that. And it's, you just know it's they're covering their ass, lawsuits, government regulation, than the, the 10 minutes I talked to the doc. Nurse come in, taking all this shit and all that. You know, oh, by the way, I do have the insurance where I can get birth control pills if I ever fucking need them for some reason. I don't know if I want to grow tits. Um, but that it's, it is so inefficient, so overregulated, uh, that what we have right now is this hybrid monster that is inefficient on both ends and highly regulated. That's like, scrap the whole damn thing. I'd rather have single-payer health care. If it was up to me, there'd be private insurance, uh, and you'd really have to be, you know, buyer beware, caveat emptor. You have to really, you know, reputable uh, insurance company. Um, no, we're not bailing it out. Gee, that's too bad. Go talk to private charity. Maybe there's a very kind hospital that won't turn you away. Um, I don't care if they OD. In Clary's hospital, if you showed up ODing, there'd be a lot of corpses outside. Like, no, you got insurance? Do you got mine? Go, go fuck yourself. And there'd be a lot of armed guards. Um, and the doctors would be behind like, you know, uh, uh, it'd almost be like a bank. Would you like the doctor's services? They're pretty valuable, aren't they? Well, you, oh, that's too bad. You don't have money? Pay up front, too bad. 
Uh, in any case, yeah, so that's, it, it's so sad that this is where genuine crony capitalism and then regular socialism has come in, and now we have 17% of your GDP goes to health care, while the socialists, they only have 10% GDP. So that's, that's my opinion on health care. I know it's not going to be popular among the libertarian free market crowd, and I'm with you there in theory. Uh, but compared to what we have now, this is just a clusterfuck. That's, that's really what it is. So, all right, you guys got questions, go to assholeconsulting.com. The old captain will see you kids then. Tools.